Hi there, welcome to Boxbread. If you are a pure boxing fan, as I am, and you probably are if you're watching this video, then there is an extremely good middleweight fight that's happening next weekend. Uh, that is Friday the 13th of April. It's for the WBA Super World Middleweight title, and it sees two of the best boxers that Germany currently has to offer. They are Felix Sturm, who is the current champion, and he's putting it, on, putting it on the line against fellow German Sebastian Zbik. Now, Felix Sturm uh, is 36 victories with two losses and two draws, and Sebastian Zbik is 30 wins, just the one loss. That was in his last fight against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. And before that, he was unbeaten. Sometimes when you look at fights when they're first announced... Um, you have a gut instinct as to who you think is going to win the fight. And um, quite often that gut instinct doesn't change. You do a little bit of uh, looking around, the, you know, studying around the fight, just in case there's something you're missing. But essentially, what you felt was, was, was true and was correct in your eyes, and remains that way. Not so for this fight for me. When I first looked at this fight, my gut instinct was that Felix Sturm would win this fight uh, by decision and that he would retain his title. Um, he has had um, recent difficult fights, notably against Matthew Macklin and then in his last fight against Martin Murray, which was actually a draw. Um, so he's had some difficulties, but they are very good fighters and very good boxers that he's been going up against. Um, so, you know, I'd like to firstly go on the record as saying it, there is a distinct possibility that this fight ends as a draw. Um, you've got two, you know, uh, of the top German fighters fighting in Germany. When I've looked at this fight and I've tried to break it down in my head and figured out how it's going to go and how it could go, it's very difficult. A lot of things cancel each other out. Um, and it's just a close one for me, a very close one. A bit of a 50-50 really. Having said that, I'm going to go with Sebastian Zibik by close decision in this one. I think he becomes a new champion and I think it will be close but I think he edges it. Both of these guys are very similar in height. Um, Boxrec has them both at about 5'11 and a half. Um, but looking at the two guys, Maybe it's just me, but I think that Felix Sturm looks a bit fuller. He looks a bit bigger than Sebastian Zabik. Um, so he, he he may have, if this fight goes on the inside, a bit more um, power there. A bit more size advantage in that area, in that category. Um, that's just in my opinion. Um, Felix Sturm is slightly more experienced. He has uh, a few more, a good few more rounds under his belt. And he's probably fought... At a higher level than Sebastian Zabik. You know, he's been elite now for about a decade, Felix Sturm. Um, he's fought at top level, world class level. And he has experience on his side. However, Zabik for me is um, a very good boxer. He's got an amateur background and he, he brings that into the ring with him. I think Zabik is, is an outstanding boxer, you know, in my opinion. Um, I think technically he's very sound. Um, the key in this is going to be the outside and inside games and what I've thought about this fight is that both of these guys like to really start off on the outside and it may be a test of the jabs that are going against each other. But inevitably these both guys both of these guys do tend to be drawn inside somewhere during the some point during the fight. Normally after a few rounds they both like to come inside. Um even after a couple of rounds they could end up coming inside and this will at some point I I feel be a toe to toe battle at some stage in some stage. But what these guys also do, particularly Zibik, is, Zibik, is that he'll come inside for a round and then in the next round he'll just try and uh, utilise the out from the outside attack again. Um, so he'll switch up a bit more. Um, in my opinion, Sebastian Zibik must start fast. He needs to make the first part of this fight his. And I think he has the ability to do that. I think that Felix Sturm starts slowly, so, uh, slowly far too often. I think um, Zabik uh, could utilise his, his, in my opinion, superior outside game here 
um, and win the first few rounds against uh, Sturm. I think that's essential for Zabik. Um, I think Zabik throws very good combinations. He has outstanding hand speed when he wants to use it. The only one thing I will say about Zabik's combination is that he tends to neglect the body and he tends to be a bit more, bit of a headhunter. It's not really good in this because Sturm has a very good crab defense. He has a very good like shell defense, as does Zabik, but what you really want to look to do is to vary the punches and go to the body. I think Zabik, that's one negative aspect of his game, is that he doesn't throw enough body punches for me. Um, he has outstanding combinations, don't get me wrong. He can throw, you know, five, six punch combinations. And he has a good left hand in those combinations, which is what Felix Sturm has been known to be susceptible to, is a good left hand. Um, left hook. Um, so Zabik can you look to, to exploit him with that and expose him with that left hook. But, you know, Zabik really does need to try and work the body a bit more and not just go for those combos up top because um, I think Felix Sturm has the ability to just absorb that, absorb those punches and come back with his own. Um, also, um, the reason I say Zabik needs to start fast is because Felix Sturm does tend to come on strong and he has the ability to come on strong later in the fight. We saw it against Matthew Macklin. He was able to absorb pressure on the inside, absorb the punches and just counter and then come on strong as the fight goes on. Um, that's what... Uh, may happen in this one um, although in my opinion Zabik does have the, the ability to go the full route as well um, the, my concern for Zabik is inside while I think he's better than Sturm outside and he's got a he's got a slight hand speed advantage and better combinations I feel that inside I would I would probably favor Sturm because I think Zabik while both of these guys can fight outside and can fight inside on the outside like I me I've mentioned my reasons for Zabik being my favorite on the inside, I feel Zabik can be a bit sloppy and a little bit open compared to Felix Sturm. I think Sturm likes to be inside. He covers up really well and he counters really well inside. Um, Zabik does counter very well inside. He's got quick hands, like I've mentioned, but sometimes his defence can be a little bit open, in my opinion, and he needs to watch that as he goes inside. Um, but these are, you know, these are just hypoth these are just um, questions I have and you know from what i've watched these guys can can you know um improve on these things and they can show in this fight um that that they they have that type, that game to 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 you know negate the the opposition um yeah but one thing i would bear in mind with this although i've called Zabik to win this fight one thing you must bear in mind is that felix Sturm is still the champion it is two german fighters uh fighting in Germany but Sturm is a champion and this is a question I have for any of you guys if if you um, are from Germany or if you have better knowledge about this than me it just seems to me that Sturm is a slightly bigger draw than Sebastian Zabik it seems like he's a bit more of a draw he gets a bit more pulls in a bigger crowd than Sebastian Zabik I may be wrong there but it's just something I've observed from the fights I've seen um, Felix Sturm does tend to draw a very large crowd. He has a big following, as far as I can see. Uh, whereas Zabik doesn't tend to st or seem to draw as many. Um, you know, I'd be really interested, you know, um, any German guys watching me here, uh, or anybody in the know, you know, how, who, what type of support is there going to be for these guys in this fight? I'm expecting an electric atmosphere, but who is going to get the bigger support, you feel? Will it be even, or will there be a sway for either side, you know, is there a favourite in this fight, a fan favourite? Um, I, I really would like, you know, some someone to answer that question. That's something I'm really interested in knowing um, about this fight. I'd like to know who's going to be the fan favourite in this one, if there is one. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this video is going on a bit, but I really want to draw your attention to this fight. It's a really good fight. It's a real meeting of the minds for me. It's two very knowledgeable thinking fighters in the ring they've got good boxing brains good technique and it's going to be very very interesting to see how this plays out very interesting both guys have advantages outside and in and yeah just a really good fight i think that zabik's gonna uh take the first few rounds um or be up on the scorecards come halfway and then I think he's going to do just enough to hold out Sturm or hold Sturm off as the as the fight goes down the distance. And I think Sebastian Zabik 
will win a close decision. Possibly, you know, split decision here. Uh, but I think Germany gets a new middleweight champion. I'm really looking forward to this fight, guys. I really am. Um, so, yeah, please comment. Uh, chat to me. Ask me questions. Give me answers. Thanks for watching. This is Boxpred. I'm out.